Agriculture in South Asia primarily uses 260 million hectare land, contributes about 15% of the total GDP, and employs more than 50% of the population. Still, 15% of the world's undernourished population lives here. To facilitate this change, Borlaug Institute for South Asia, BISA, was jointly established in October 2011 by the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Centre, or CIMIT, and the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, New Delhi, to implement the vision of Norman E. Borlaug for combating hunger through applied science and improved policy. Our research agenda in the Borlaug Institute for South Asia, or BISA, is much broader than only maize and wheat varieties. We work on different crops, we work on cropping systems, we work on entire agri-food systems that should be sustainable so that they can produce nutritious food that at the same time is affordable for the families that we eat. It has been committed to stronger collaborations for accelerated impact, most prominently with the Indian Council of Agricultural Research and the three state governments, Punjab, Bihar, and Madhya Pradesh. BISA enhances and promotes farm productivity, food and nutritional security, rural livelihoods and environmental rehabilitation to invigorate the agriculture and food systems and help meet present and future demands for food in South Asia. 480 hectare state-of-the-art farms established in three states of India, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab and Bihar. These stations represent three different agroclimatic and socio-economic environments that signify the whole of South Asia. BISA is linking as a bridge between ICR and CIMIT and providing huge number of germplasm here compared to what they used to get in an entirely different situation, testing only in South Asia, in India, in three locations. Over the last 10 years, BISA has harnessed the best of science in meeting the food security challenges of South Asia. BISA has also been generating research-based knowledge and developing and scaling out climate-smart agriculture solutions through partnerships with NARS of India, Bangladesh and Nepal and extended research and knowledge-based services to Bhutan and Sri Lanka. BISA's impact. 15,000 wheat genotypes evaluated using precision phenotyping and genomics. 10,000 kg per hectare productivity achieved first time in Indian wheat trials. 5,000 tonne of quality seed produced and distributed to stakeholders. 200,000 stakeholders' capacity strengthened in different technologies. 3,000 villages in India and Nepal transformed following the CSV approach. 170 million subsidy by the Government of India for Happy Cedar and SMS. Taking forward the legacy of Dr. Norman Borlaug by taking it to the farmer.